For Action News, I'm Anna Samovska. Life is full of choices, and now we have yet another choice between an existing artificial sweetener that's perfectly safe and a new one that's perhaps perfectly safer. And yet the critics who've attacked aspartame for years now have another target as well. In his latest Science 2.0 post, our very own Dr. Josh Bloom discusses the advantages of Adventame, an artificial sweetener chemically more stable than aspartame and one that can be used in cooking. It's 20,000 times sweeter than sugar and 100 times sweeter than aspartame. Hence, less of it is needed. There's one legitimate health concern uh, with aspartame that has to do with uh, a small group of people, one in 10,000, who lack the enzyme to process phenylalanine, which is one of the components of aspartame. So the one in 10,000 people that were unable to use aspartame can use aventame without any preservations because it does not uh, have phenylalanine in it and it will not affect them. Critics of aspartame claim the chemicals it contains are dangerous. One critic in particular, Joe Mercola, claims aspartic acid from aspartame has the same deleterious effects on the body as glutamic acid. That's quite a contradictory statement since Mercola himself sells products on his website that contains glutamic acid. If glutamic acid is so bad for you, he's selling it on his website as part of a uh, a whey powder, which is called Dr. Mercola's Whey Chocolate Protein Powder. And on the label it says that it is rich in glutamic acid and branched-chain amino acids, which aid muscle building and recovery. So this begs the question, if aspartic acid is as bad as glutamic acid, why is he selling glutamic acid on his site? We think we'll rest our case on that one. You can check out Dr. Bloom's op-ed on our website, aksha.org, that's acsh.org. And while you're there, don't forget to also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered right to your inbox. For Aksha, I'm Anna Samovska.